Hola estudiantes, bienvenidos. En esta, en esta lección van a aprender la, las diferencias entre ser y estar. So in this lesson you're going to learn the differences between ser and estar. Remember they both mean to be but they're used differently and there's rules uh, for remembering when you're going to use ser and when you will use estar. So let's start out with um, ser. Uh, we're going to go over the conjugation briefly. I'm sure you remember, but just in case, por si acaso. So remember, the yo form, you want to say I am, soy, soy. And then the to form, the informal you are, eres, eres. And then the usted, el, ella form, so the usted, you formal, and then he or she. Uh, that would be es, so that's you are, or he or she is. And the nosotros form, somos, somos, so that's we are. And then for the you all or they form, ustedes, ellos, ellas, son, so you all or they are. All right, bien. So, uh, back in the very beginning, you learned to use ser with origin. Uh, that's one of the first things you learn in Espanol. So origin meaning where uh, someone or something originated. So, por ejemplo, I could say soy de los Estados Unidos. I'm from the United States. ¿De dónde eres tú? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Okay. Or, ¿de dónde es um, Penelope Cruz? Where is Penelope Cruz from? Ella es de España. She's from Spain. All right. Um, also, you learned uh, ser with physical description and character traits. You know, to describe if someone's tall or short, um, you know, dark haired or blonde, that would be physical description. Character trait would be like, uh, funny or silly or intelligent. Okay, so por ejemplo, we could say um, Javier Bardem es moreno. Javier Bardem is um, dark haired. Or um, Cameron Diaz is rubia. Cameron Diaz is blonde. So that'd be physical description. Danny DeVito is uh, bajo. Danny DeVito is short. Michael Jordan is alto. Michael Jordan is tall. All right. Um, also, you use ser with, um, with relationships to define what something is. Like, um, he's my friend, or she's my mother, or they're my sisters, or that's my dog. <laughs> All right, so it defines what something is. So, es mi perro. Uh, es mi perro grande, it's my big dog, or ellos son mis padres, they are my parents, or son mis amigos, they're my friends. All right, and also you ser with um, possession, you know, to, to show ownership, like es mi libro, or uh, son tus libros, those are your books, okay, or La mochila is de Miguel. That's Miguel's backpack. Also, uh, you ser with time. Remember to ask what time is it? Que hora es? Que hora es? Y la hora hora es la una y veinte. It's one twenty. So remember you use the singular form for the one o'clock hour. If it was uh, three o'clock, you would use the plural form, son las do, or son las tres, the three o'clock. All right, and also you use uh, ser with um, seasons, like um, es primavera, it's spring. You also use it with dates, like uh, que día es hoy, what day is today? Hoy es el 17 de, ma de mayo. Today is the 17th of May, de 2016, 2016. All right, so 
those are uh, rules for using the verb ser. Okay, so now we'll go to estar, um, and let's go over the, uh, the um, conjugation of estar. So the yo form, estoy, I am. The tu form, estás, you are. Usted el ella form, está. Uh, the nosotros form, estamos. And the ustedes, ellos, ellas form, están. And if you wanted to know the vosotros form, estáis, first in Spain only. All right, so for using estar, uh, you use that with location, like where you are, like donde estamos, where are we? Estamos en casa, we're at home. Donde estás tú? Donde están ustedes? Where are you? Where are you all? Okay. So that's location, or donde esta la tienda, where's the store? O donde esta el centro comercial, where's the mall? Okay, so that's location. Also, you use it with, um, uh, to describe how you're feeling, like emotions, uh, physical um, state of being, like if you're tired or energetic, emotional state, if you're happy, sad. Okay, so usually use a star with things that can change and your emotions can change. Your location can change. Okay, so, uh, como estas? How, you remember that from the very beginning also. So how are you? Meaning, how are you feeling? So, estoy uh, contenta. I'm happy. Okay, so location and with um, states of beings when you use a star. All right. Um, okay, that ends this lesson. So we will see you next time. Hasta la próxima vez. Ciao.